Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick and you're watching the Oilers Rundown. With the Oilers struggles to start the year, today I wanted to take a look at what possible changes we could see in an effort to turn things around. At number one, fire goalie coach Dustin Schwartz. As I mentioned on the Fanatic Rundown, this move could be the least disruptive and give two struggling goaltenders a fresh voice and fresh ideas. It can be argued whether or not the blame belongs on the shoulders of Dustin Schwartz but like with any coach, sometimes a change just becomes necessary. At number two, make a trade or sign a free agent. Ryan Rashog brought up his name on last night's Got Your Back podcast, and Beer League Heroes also said he's heard rumblings that Ryan McLeod's name could be out there. McLeod has one point in 10 games played this season and is a minus four. McLeod is making 2.1 million this year and next. With that kind of production, nobody will be lining up for him but one team in particular could be a match. Ryan McLeod is currently dating Alexi Anlauer, daughter of new Ottawa Senators owner, Michael Anlauer. Would Michael want to bring in his potential future son-in-law? It's possible, but both teams are tight to the cap. Maybe someone like winger Matthew Joseph could be coming back the other way. Joseph has eight points in 10 games so far this season and carries a $2.95 million cap hit. Maybe later in the year, a Ryan McLeod Shane Pinto deal can make some sense. Give both guys a fresh start. Other names that could be in the trade discussions, mostly due to their cap hits, are Cody Cece, Warren Fogle, and Jack Campbell. For Cece, I feel like he's the odd man out on D. If any improvement is made there, he would have to be going the other way. Warren Fogle is having an excellent start to the year, and that is what will make him valuable in a trade. I'd hate to lose him, but freeing up his $2.75 million cap hit creates options. I don't think he'll be traded just yet, but we'll probably look for Dylan Holloway to be sent to Bakersfield as he's waivers exempt to create cap room and space for any new additions. Holloway isn't getting the ice time with the Oilers anyway. Bakersfield is the better option. Between the two goalies, Jack Campbell has to be the one to go, but that will be a monumental task given his cap hit and contract. I'll be surprised if anything happens in goal. For free agents, it's really between two guys. Phil Kessel, a three-time Stanley Cup champion. He would bring experience to the room and could possibly chip in offensively, but it's hard to say he would bring a massive impact. The other option is, of course, Patrick Kane, who is reportedly narrowing down his options for a return in the near future. Kane has the potential to have a far bigger impact, but with the way the Oilers are playing right now, Edmonton isn't going to look very enticing. At number three, Fire Jay Woodcroft. I truly hope this doesn't happen, but if the Oilers' play doesn't improve, it may come to this. I think we have to see a turnaround by American Thanksgiving, if not sooner. This should be a last option in my opinion. Ken Holland needs to go over every trade and signing option before even considering this. Some possible replacements we could see are Gerard Gallant, Bruce Boudreaux, or they may go internally to Glenn Gullitson. And at number four, fire Ken Holland. I highly doubt this happens. It would do little to change the course of this season and really be a slap in the face to him on his way out. He's expected to retire next summer. Firing him now just doesn't make sense to me. That's my look, guys. Maybe none of what was discussed in this video even comes to pass. I believe this team has the ability to turn things around and will. Whether or not changes happen will depend on how long it takes them to do it. For what it's worth, Sportsnet insider Elliot Friedman reported, all is quiet as of last night. It's a frustrating time for Oilers fans and we all want to see something happen that can turn this team around. If it can happen internally with as little change as possible, all the better. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic Thanks for being a fan.